Good morning guys. So I wanted to come this morning and bring you a review of the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation that I have been using for about a month now. I absolutely love this foundation. I love the way um, the coverage that it gives me. It's like a light coverage. It's matte. It does not leave my skin looking oily or dewy, which um, some foundations do, but I absolutely love this foundation. And I'm just gonna shake it up a little. It does not come with a pump. So I'm just gonna apply that from the back of my hand, like so. Right there. And the brush that I'm going to use is my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This is the brush that I use to apply my foundations. I like the coverage that it gives me. I do have other foundation brushes um, that I could use, but I just always tend to go back to this one because it's really soft and it applies the product very evenly over my face. So I'm just going to dip that and I don't have a mirror with me, so um, <laughs> I'm looking in the screen over here, so please forgive me. I was doing my makeup this morning, so and I was like, oh my gosh, let me go ahead and do this review. And I just, I love the way this goes over my face. I love the way that it feels. Oh my gosh. It is just one of those foundations that it's like, okay, I'm not going to wear it until um, a special occasion because <laughs> you don't want to use it all. And I initially um, got a sample. Thank you, baby. I got a sample of this um, like the day before I purchased it. And um, I used it um, to go to an event. And I went back the next day and I purchased the um full <laughs> i went ahead and just purchased the um the bottle um it is 45 dollars um and i did not i'm one of these people like if i find something i'm just gonna go ahead and buy because um my luck um please forgive me for looking in the viewfinder here um or the screen i'm just trying to make sure that i have this over my face like i want and I don't want to get up and go and get a mirror. I don't usually film in this room, so. Um, yeah, so, um, and I went back and I purchased it. And um, and I actually went back when they had the VIB sale at Sephora and I purchased <laughs> another one. And I got a darker shade. The shade that I'm in, um, this particular foundation is the, um, Makao, it's a medium dark number four, M-A-C-A-O, sheer matte. And they also have another one, I can't remember the name of it, but um, I think it's more of a full coverage foundation. I need my color. Okay. So yeah, this is a foundation and, um, and the way that I said it, Okay, so let me go back and, and talk about the consistency of the foundation. And as you guys can see, I've used all of it and it blends very well into my skin. Um, the consistency is very light. It's not a um, heavy foundation. And I'm just going to put some more on there, but I'm not going to take that out. But it's not a thick consistency but it's the right amount of consistency that just leaves your face feeling like it can breathe you know sometimes when you apply foundations you feel like oh my gosh my my uh, my friend my skin is suffocating and this does not leave your skin or your face feeling that way um and like i said it's matte so it's going to give you that coverage as you guys can see um it did cover up most of my blemishes i'm not one of these people i don't like foundations that make me look like I have on a couple of layers of foundation so that's why I really like this particular foundation um but it's just leave your skin just feeling thank you um very even and um I love it I love the coverage that it gives me and I'm gonna put my face into this right here again I don't have a mirror um but I just want you guys to there you go 
I just want you to see um, the coverage that it gives my face. Um, so it does cover up those little blemishes that I have, um, the hyperpigmentation from um, pimples. Um, but yeah, I just I absolutely love this foundation. Love the coverage that it gives. Like I said, it's very light. So if you want something that's not heavy, I would say try out this. It is a little pricey, um, but to me, it's worth the money. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's worth the money. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna be out today and um, I want my, and this foundation, you really don't have to set it with the found, the powder that I'm gonna set it with. You can just use your Mineralize Skin Finish um, by MAC, which I'm gonna put that on top of the other um, powder. But I'm gonna use the um, Kat Von D Lock It Up um, powder foundation. I'm just gonna take a little of that. I'm not gonna set this heavily. Um, the brush that I'm going to use is a Real Techniques um, blush brush, but I use that to apply um, powder on my face. So what I'm gonna do, literally, let me show you. And I'll have a review on this powder as well. So, and I just shake it off and I just dab it on. Just to give me um, coverage that's going to stay throughout the day. Um, like I say, I'm gonna be out and about today um, and I'm gonna be around a lot of people. So I just want my foundation to stay and I want it to look flawless. Um, and so and that's what this gives me. So that's all I'm gonna put on there. And then I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in dark. It looks like that. And shake off my brush. And again, I'm sorry that I'm all into the, <laughs> but I'm trying to make sure that I have the coverage that I need. Make sure I don't have any oily spots showing. And that is how I apply this foundation, guys. Go to Sephora, get you a sample of this, try it, and I promise you, you'll go back and you will buy the full container like I did. Um, and I have used up all of the sample because I have been wearing this um, in different atmosphere, different environments, um, weather conditions, just so I can know to say that this is a great foundation and it really, really is. Um, you cannot go wrong. Um, so I would put this in the top five foundations. Um, I would put this in the top five. It's, it's a great foundation. So I wanted to bring that to you guys today and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And um, I'll come back and do a face of the day to show you the products that I use to actually um, do my eyeshadow with as well. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, today is Saturday, November 23rd, and I come back to bring you my face of the day. I just showed you guys um, my foundation routine using the NARS um, Matte Sheer, uh, Sheer Matte Foundation. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I use to create this look. Um, for my eyes, I prime my eye, my eye lids and my brows using my Ruby Kisses. Um, primer love this stuff and you can get this at the beauty supply store for like four dollars um depending on which one you go to sometimes you can get it for 2.99 three dollars um so i did that i did my brows as i normally would but if you guys would like to see an updated brow tutorial because i do use different products but sometimes i just tend to stick to the same things because i try not to venture out because sometimes it seems like it's more of a failure than it is a success so i stick with the um, products that i know um it's going to create um some great looking brows um so i use the ruby kisses primed all over my eyelid so forth then i came in with my um scandal eyes waterproof um, cold pencil and I used that um, as a base and then I came back using um, the Milani shadow eyes the 12 hour um, and this color is 
let's see, royal purple. Thank you. And I just put that on top of the black, rubbed it in, um, just not rubbed it, but blended it in with my fingers. And then I came back with my shadow. And I used the um, Tarte, and this is the Tarte from the Tarte of Giving um, collection. Um, and I purchased this uh, during a VIB sale from um, Sephora. So the color that I used on my lid, let me make sure I have it correctly. Um, is called Sam's Ice Skates. So I use this purple right here, all over my lids, right there. Blended it with this right here, and then use this color right here for my brow bone area. Um, so those colors are, let me go back, Sam Ice Skates, Meredith Hula Hoop, and um, Jess Storybook. And then on top of Jess Storybook for my brow, I used um, Erica's Dollhouse, which is that color right there. And that's how I got my eyeshadow look today. And so my eyeliner that I used for my top and bottom line is was the Scandal Eyes. I used this pencil. Absolutely love it. Love this pencil. Love this pencil. Love this pencil. Cannot say enough things about this eye liner. Um, it's waterproof. It's by Rimmel. It's inexpensive. I think it's like three twenty nine. dollars um, Yes. So my um, mascara is the Voluminous Million Lashes by L'Oreal. One of my favorite um, mascaras. And for my lips, what I used was um, this pencil right here in royal purple. I just dabbed it on, blended it with my fingers, and then on top of that, I came back with the L'Oreal Lilac um, Color Rich Pencil. And the color that I used was the Lacquerized, and it's a really pretty, uh, that's going to focus. There you go really pretty color as you guys can see I have it on right now I'm gonna come a little closer as you guys can see love this I love this pencil this is the only one of that cut of this collection that came out that I have um, I didn't want to try any other colors I just saw this one and I was like yay gotta have it um, so my blush is the Milani romantic rose and it looks like that let me see if it will focus there we go. Love this. And let me show you guys how pigmented that is. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, and I think that's it. I primed my face using the Pore Professional. Um, I got this as a sample um, from Sephora doing the VIB sale. And I do plan on purchasing this whenever they have another sale. Because I think this may be like 30 bucks for a one ounce um two <laughs> i don't think i want to pay 30 bucks for it so as long as i can keep getting the samples of this i am and i think they have them quite often so um i do love the way it feels on my skin so that's what i use guys to create the look that i have on today and i hope you guys have a wonderful saturday i will see you guys in my next video bye well, what are you doing